everybody! Today we are moving a couple of our bull snakes around for breeding purposes and we are actually going to be moving this red male upstairs into a new bin. He just ate in that in that cave, that's why it's upside down. But we're going to move him upstairs and we're going to move Priscilla, who is one of our babies that we produced actually and she's now big enough to breed. She is an albino bull snake, she's gorgeous. We're going to move her down here into his bin so we have to fully clean it out and disinfect it for her. So we figured this would be a good opportunity to show you how we completely disinfect or deep clean a bin or an enclosure for a snake. <music> Before we begin, we'd like to thank today's sponsor, the Lavoit Pet Air Purifier. When you have any type of pet, you probably encounter unpleasant odors from time to time. That's why we partnered with Lavoit and their new air purifier built specifically for pet owners. This filter is built not only to eliminate odors, but also pet dander, airborne bacteria, and loose fur. So it also helps reduce allergic reactions to the furry animals in your house. It has three stages of filtration. A pre-filter to catch large particles like fur, a true HEPA filter to catch smaller particles and airborne contaminants, and a carbon filter that chemically breaks down odors. We are going to put this to the test in our bull snake room here. I fed these bull snakes three days ago, which means last night they all pooped and it smells horrible in here. I swear, bull snakes think their poop is paint and they love to create the smelliest of art murals in their enclosures. So we're gonna let this guy run for four hours, come back and see if there's a difference. Okay, it's on low fan speed right now. Let's turn it up to medium for four hours. Oh, and there is a nighttime setting and a mode that prevents your pets from changing the settings accidentally. Yeah, I'm talking about you, Cheyenne. Yes, you have changed the settings. All right, we're gonna let it sit for the four hours and see how it smells in here. Hopefully it's better. Really? Don't climb the racks. Well, it's been tough purposely leaving poop in enclosures, but, ooh, actually, I don't smell it anymore. Wow, that, that surprises me. I didn't think it would take care of it that quickly. Wow, good job, little filter. Those were smelly poops too, weren't they? Weren't they? They were stinky. Well, now I'm gonna clean out the bins, but that has my seal of approval. That worked better than I was expecting, actually. The pre-filter on the outside can be cleaned just by vacuuming it, and the HEPA filter on the inside, since it does contain activated charcoal, does have to be replaced, but only once every six to eight months. Which coincidentally is the same frequency you have to replace your reptile's UVB bulbs, right? So when the indicator light turns on, it's a good reminder to swap out your bulbs too. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Plus, we are going to be giving away a completely free, brand new Lavoite Pet Air Purifier. We'll have details on how to enter at the end of this video. Now that you know how we clean the air in our house, let's talk about how we clean the enclosures. Really? First, you'll want to, of course, take out all of the decor and the bedding. Now with the bin empty, we are going to, or what I do, is I take hot soapy water and I scrub it all down. I just get scrubber brushes from the Dollar Tree, by the way. It's the cheapest route to go. Next, once that's all wiped up, I actually use hydrogen peroxide on the bins too. Just the plain old 3% hydrogen peroxide you can find at like Walgreens. And this is gonna be great to just kind of sit and let it soak in for about 10 minutes or so, and it'll eat away at these little bits here if you look. There's some little bits like this that just don't wanna come up very well with soap and water, so the hydrogen peroxide will kind of eat into those and they should wipe up much easier after you let this soak in. So we're gonna spray the entire bin out and this will also help disinfect it too. And again, we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes now. While that is soaking, we are going to take all of the decor and sanitize this as well. The smaller pieces of decor, like small water dishes or caves or plants, I just put in our dishwasher, honestly. I put them in the top rack and I set the water to the highest temperature setting because it's the hot temperatures that you need to kill the organisms that might be living on here, like maybe bacteria or anything that just could be lingering on this decor. But for larger items like these big caves, 
leaves that I can't fit in my dishwasher, we have to clean these manually. Now, if I was just doing my weekly cleaning and I was just wiping them down, cleaning them up, and putting them back with the same animal, I would just use hydrogen peroxide. I'd spritz a little bit on here, wipe it down, put it back. But since these are going to be used by a new animal altogether, since we're moving that albino bull snake down here, we have to completely sanitize everything. So again, this will go in the dishwasher, and these big items, what we're going to do is very similar to the bin. We're going to scrub them down with soap and water, let them dry, and then spray them down with hydrogen peroxide and let them sit for 10 minutes. minutes we are going to wipe down all the hydrogen peroxide that's been soaking on here and we're going to move on to our final step in the cleaning process and the final step in our cleaning process is to steam clean everything the 300 degrees that these steam cleaners get up to kills everything that it comes into contact with, essentially. So that's why we always steam clean, because we know it's going to be clean afterwards. We just invested recently in this Dupre. It's not a sponsor, it's just a nice steam cleaner that we recently got. And we had kind of a $100 steam cleaner before, and it only lasted like six months. So we were like, well, we're going to spend the extra money to get a really nice one, since it should last for many years. But you do use those steam cleaners like four hours every Thursday night. I so do. Yeah, like six hours every Thursday. You put you put that <laughs> steam cleaner through the test for six months. That's true. It did, okay, fine. I give it a little more credit. But this one's awesome. So, okay. Basically, for this, it comes with different attachments, but I think we're just going to use the basic attachment on the end here, and we're just going to steam clean the entire surface. You especially want to get down in these corners because... Like, when snakes poop, they often poop along the sides of their bins, and of course they're going to poop on the bottom, not near the top, so you want to make sure the lower uh, edges of the bins are especially clean. The steam cleaner might seem a little overkill, but this is the one surefire way to make sure that every bad organism in an environment is killed because of the high temperatures. So I would recommend, especially if you have a larger collection like we do, I would recommend investing in a steam cleaner of sorts. However, if you do get one of these, they are a heavy duty tool to use with your reptiles or in general. I mean, check this out. It goes right through this thick cardboard. It's insane, so be careful with these. Keep in mind that we don't only use the steam cleaner when we're cleaning out bins, like doing a deep cleaning. I actually use this every week on the water dishes in all of our reptiles' enclosures. I take the water dishes out and I wipe them with hydrogen peroxide and then I steam clean these because the water dish is where a lot of pathogens are spread. That's why we went with the Dupre brand, which is more of a higher end steam cleaner and we really like it so far. We're able to like add water to the reservoir while it's still heating, whereas with the other one, I couldn't do that at all. But again, Dupre is not a sponsor to today's video, unless they want to be, but we just like their products. Now that the steam cleaning step is done, this bin is entirely disinfected, and we're just going to wipe up the water that's left behind from the steam cleaning process, and we're going to set it up for our bull snake. Alright, so now for the decorations that we took out, and you know, remember we I uh, used hydrogen peroxide on that blue cave. Well, to disinfect that, just like with the bin, we're going to steam clean it. When you're steam cleaning the decor, it doesn't have to be completely dried when you put it back. It'll dry on its own, honestly. And yes, this is a guinea pig igloo. It works really well for snakes. Like, we have bull snakes that love this cave more than anything else. So you'd be surprised what you can find in the small animal section at a pet store that works for reptiles. For the rest of the caves and decor, I'm just going to use what's in her current bin, or her old bin, I should say, because this only she's been in contact with it, so we're just going to throw it right into her bin. There we go, and now it is ready for Priscilla here. She's actually doing really well out on my hands right now. Yeah, you've caused some serious damage to my fingers in the past because you have such a food response. Uh, a couple different things you can do when it comes to cleaning these bins, or rather, an extra step you can take if you really need to deep clean it is 
we use a technique that was created by Harlan Wall, who is an amazing green tree python breeder. He's been doing it for many years. And he explained that a really good way to sanitize a bin is to put it through a huge pH swing. So basically make it the entire pH of the bin or whatever you're cleaning go from high to low, and that should kill virtually any organism that it comes into contact with. Now to do this, to change the pH of the surface that you're cleaning, you can start with vinegar, like 6% cleaning vinegar, and just spritz it down with that. That'll bring it to an acidic pH. And then to swing the surface on the other end of the spectrum to kill what can't survive in uh, a basic type of environment, you can just spray it down with a 10% um, ammonia solution. So by making it go from acidic to basic should kill virtually anything on that surface. And by the way, if you don't like the smell of ammonia or vinegar, which many people don't, especially when we clean, we, we use ammonia on a regular basis if we're really trying to deep clean something, it smells horrible. So you can add a little bit of like lemon juice and that makes it a bit more tolerable. So to summarize, for just weekly cleanings or day-to-day -day use, we just use a hydrogen peroxide spritz down and then we steam clean it. Whereas if we are moving a piece of decor to another animal or moving a different animal into a bin, we first scrub it down with Dawn and then we use hydrogen peroxide, let it soak for about 15 minutes, 10-15 minutes, and then steam clean it afterwards. And now to uh, explain who I'm holding and who is the girl that we did all this work for, this is, again, Priscilla. She is a, actually she's a hypoalbino bull snake, so a hybino, some people call these. She is one of um, Mr. Wilson's daughters, actually. So she is also het, um, uh, possibly het white side, I should say. Since she is now big enough to breed, we have decided that this year we are going to be pairing her with our white-sided male. Um, is she... No, that's the one we just cleaned. I think he's in this one. Oh, that's right. He's with a lady right now. Oh man, okay, I'll just uh, close that. He's gonna be paired with her and hopefully they make some, well not hopefully, they will make some beautiful babies because he is head albino. So thank you everybody for watching today's Cleaning 101 video. I think it's time to put her into her new bin and see how she likes her digs. Here you go, girl. You're being really good. Hey, check it out. Oh, she's gonna bury herself right into that substrate. Yep, there she goes. That's why we like to use Aspen, is because they love to burrow in it. You're not a hog nose, silly snake. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, Lavoit, for their new pet air purifiers. And we're going to be giving away one of these units absolutely free. All you have to do to enter is find our Twitter post for the giveaway. It's just a picture of the air purifier with our Lichianus gecko on it. And you just have to follow us on Twitter and share that post and you'll be entered. Submissions will be taken until Sunday night. And then on Monday, we'll randomly choose a winner and announce it right there on Twitter. Thank you to all of the Patreon backers who are supporting this channel. We love all of you guys and we love everybody who's just watching our channel. Let us know if you use anything different in your cleaning procedures down in the comments below and we'll see you next time.